I'm Laura Gethard, and I'm 21 years old. My name is Juliet Sally, and I have cerebral palsy. My name is Brian Chow, and I'm 24 years old. My name is Eric Taylor, and my disability is multiple sclerosis. My muscle weight earning the rest of my body. Optical neurosis for the eyes. From the time I was 12 or so, I've pretty much been in a wheelchair full time, and my disorder hasn't gotten any worse. For me, it mostly affects the way I walk and my vision. I have 95% vision loss in the right eye and 30% vision loss in the left eye. I've tried to get a job several times. It's hard. I filled out 72 applications and went on 21 job interviews. It was very frustrating trying to get a job. When I started to apply for more of the traditional internship opportunities, I found that it was, I had some difficulty kind of connecting with employers. It really sucks that people think I can't do this job even though I have the skills. I hate to do this. I got paid to do that. I got paid to do this. But they wouldn't let me do show them. I was pretty much thinking it was hopeless to find a job. And it was, it was to the point of I had to stop myself from being depressed. I'm 21 years old. I don't think I should have to be able to, I don't think I should ask my parents for money. But I'm going, man, I'm 47 year old with a bachelor's degree and I'm homeless. I knew I needed some kind of help with trying to get a job that I still wanted to work. I was so nervous at trying to um, I had discomfort when interviewing with the firm. I think the discomfort was, you know, clear with them at that time as well. I didn't really know what to do in terms of looking for a job. I went there because I was frustrated with the whole job market. I wasn't in really sure how to discuss you know my disability and how it might impact um, my ability to work for a company. I was going for the room and I would mess up the interview process by like me really really nervous. So that's what I wanted to do with Star Cloud Disability Institute. I wanted to, to be a part of that to see if they can get me back into the job market. I really needed to revamp my resume. I learned that everyone nervous and interviews, not just you, the employer nervous, you're nervous, everyone nervous. We basically worked on how I wanted to word things to put those descriptions in there. Um, and then how to write a good cover letter. When I got to the class, I saw a lot of individuals who were either with my condition, low vision, or worse, um, sitting in class, talking about getting a job and working on job skills. And I'm like, wow, you know, I, I think I can do this. Before I went through the Stark Love Disability Institute program, um, I really, saw my disability as such a hindrance to employers. I got a confidence from being around so many awesome people. SDI prepared me for employment by giving me tools, uh, tools on how to sell myself as one who can do a job even though I had a disability. We started putting together a plan to help me find another job. As we really got into it, I realized that 
there was something very special going on there. The next big step gave me my confidence back. With the next big step, when Ross and Perina and Centene came in and they were comfortable with us, with our disability and talking to us about actually getting jobs, and I didn't think it was out there like that. And just the networking opportunities with a lot of the top St. Louis firms like Nestle Purina or Centene, um, and being able to work with those HR professionals at those firms and have candid conversations with them about how to pitch yourself as an individual with disabilities, uh, with a disability, and not make that be a hindrance, and get real feedback from them about what they would think about that and how to pitch yourself. If an executive, if an HR person is going to come down here and say, regardless of your disability, you still can be hired, oh, it's on. <laughs> My life now, after the Next Big Step program, is good. I get to get up and go to work. <laughs> so after the Next Big Step program finished in May, I've been spending my time studying for and taking these CPA exams, which is Certified Public Accountant. I have a job. I'm working for the state. I get to do something that I really, really like doing. I can say that the Next Big Step gave me the tools I needed to not only get this job, but to also know that I can do this job. My life is pretty much the same. I have a job that pays me money. I'm now working for SLU's Hispanic Health Clinic, um, and I'm the administrative assistant. By the time that I finish those tests, hopefully I'll be full-time employed. I feel like I'm able to contribute something and it's not all about this, but I have a little bit of money. <laughs> so.